Hi, in this video, we are going to see the financial planning for personal financial planning. planning. Kindly share it with people who are uh, into earnings recently or already been earning for long. Um, this I am taking, uh, uh, this financial planning I am taking as an example, uh, how you can lead a life without much debts and risk free on the financial side. So there are nine points which I have spoke, which I am going to speak about in this uh, uh, financial planner. Point number one, rule of 72. What is rule of 72? Supposing the interest rate currently on your deposits is getting you nine, uh, 8%. For the amount, for the principal to get doubled, it will take 9 years. So 72 divided by 8% equal to 9 years. So it will take 9 years for your um, deposit to be doubled. So plan accordingly how much you require after 10 years time or 15 years time. So uh, that money you have to invest today for you to get that double benefit. And then rule of seven, uh, 70, that means we are going to speak about inflation. The current inflation say for example is 7%. <coughs> you are uh, um, in 10 years time, 70 divided by 7 is 10 years. So in 10 years time, whatever deposits or whatever money you have will have half of its value after 10 years time. So that is the meaning of rule of 70. Point number 3, 25 times of your annual expenses you need as a corpus. In case you have one point, uh, you know, supposing you, are, you have your expenses say 5 lakhs per annum, uh, roughly 40,000 per month, supposing we, we keep it, 5 lakhs is uh, the, the total expense in one financial year, you require 1.25 crore um, as a deposit when you want to spend for your rest of the retired life. So plan accordingly now itself, how much money you need to invest from today. So out of which 50% can be in uh, equity and 50% can, can be in debt funds. So you can plan accordingly. Um, then point number 4, 100, 100 minus your age. What is that 100 minus your age? Um, in case you have, uh, you are 30 years old, 100 minus 30 years is 70. 70% of your money can go to equity funds and 30% should go to debt funds. So equity funds you know very well, it is high risk and high return and uh, risk bearing capacity will be very high at the, age, at the young age because not much of uh, financial commitments will be there. Also uh, many more earning capacity is there. So you can take much risk on that. 70% can go to equity. In case you don't have any equity exposure, please invest in equity funds, choose the funds. The rating of the funds are very much available in all the uh, you know uh, fund houses. So you can choose it properly and then invest in the uh, equity fund 70% of your uh, earnings. Then point number 5, 10 5 3 rule. What is the 10 5 3 rule? 10% 10 of the returns, 5% return, 3% return. So invest in 10% and more return which is equity fund. Invest in 5% and stable return which is in debt fund. 3% is in liquid fund which is uh, your savings account. So that is for your uh, daily financial requirements. Point number 6, 50, 30 and 20. What is that 50? So 50% 50 of your total expenses in a month will be on groceries and other requirements. 30% will be on entertainment uh, portion which is which is inclusive of travel, uh, tours and the picnics also. 20% is total savings. Total savings meaning it can be in savings, it can be in equity funds, debt funds, uh, whichever fund it is. Uh, always keep in mind gold is never an investment. Um, don't buy uh, physical gold and then keep it which is not going to uh, yield much return instead you can go for paper gold uh, that is also an investment option available now so always go for that point number seven is 3x should be your emergency uh, money meaning what supposing you are earning um, uh, 1 lakh a month so 3 lakh should be your emergency fund which you should keep it aside uh, for without touching it so so you you keep 3x money as your emergency fund for emergency use okay then point number 8 40% of your um, income uh, your EMI should not cross beyond that meaning what supposing you are having 1 lakh of income per month 40,000 should be your meaning not more than 40,000 should be your uh, loan component meaning repayment component Banks will give up to 75% uh, of uh, the money, uh, meaning 25% take home also they will sanction. But then as self-discipline, please do not cross 40% of your uh, salary component towards the loan amount. 
remaining 60% you should have for your own use. So this always keep in mind. Do not overspend or do not uh, go for more loans. The last part, the ninth one, insurance. This is very important. In case you are a bachelor, you may require an uh, emergency insurance for say medical insurance for five lakhs. In case you meet with an, so I don't wish that, but in case you meet with an accident, you may require uh, little money towards hospitalization. So five lakhs for a personal uh, requirement. In case you are married and having children. Go for 15 lakhs of uh, medical insurance at least for uh, one financial year. You will have uh, insurance, uh, income tax benefits also on that. In case you have uh, senior citizens in home to be taken care of like father, mother, father-in-law, mother-in-law, then it is recommended to go for at least 20,000, uh, I'm sorry, 20 lakhs of uh, medical insurance for, for your own self and uh, it, it can be a comprehensive policy uh, which, which will help you in the case of emergency. And how much of life insurance should I should have? 20 times of your uh, annual income you should have as uh, life insurance for yourself. So plan accordingly. In case you haven't done any of the planning, I am giving the link above. In case I haven't done any of the planning, I am close to 55, 56, 57 or 60. Uh, I will not have any investment options now to do. Please go to through this link. I have uh, spoken about reverse mortgage in this. How that can be beneficial for each one of you. Um, so this financial planning which I have shared with you, you can share it to people who is uh, informing you uh, I got a new job now um, uh, and you know I'm going to earn my salary from next month onwards. You share this video to them to have their investment planning. Accordingly they can plan and then lead a uh, stressless, financial stressless life. So thank you very much for patiently watching. Bye.